Hi, now in this video we are going to talk about mapping with array and let us understand this with the help of an example. So let's say there is a student who wants to store his marks, okay. So this student has an address, has a like, you know, he, he can have any kind of address, he or she can have any kind of address and this address wants to store some, uh, like this address wants to store his or her marks. And let's say there are various subjects. And if they are various subjects, then definitely we need an array kind of structure which can hold all the marks of that particular, you know, of that particular student. Now, in scenarios like this, what we can do is we can declare a mapping. So here, if you will see, we have a mapping which is from this address type to this UND type. This UND type will be used to store the marks. And this is a dynamic kind of array. Definitely, you can have a fixed kind of array as well. And this is the address data type. Again, you can have any other data type as well. But for the example, I'm taking address to UNT type dynamic array. And then we have this private uh, visibility specifier. Definitely you can have public as well. It's your choice. And then we have this variable by the name of marks. Now, how the values will be stored inside this mapping? Let us see this. We will have something like this, where we will have some addresses and all these addresses are actually storing their marks. So let's say this ABC has this array 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So these are the marks of ABC. Then we have DEF, which is storing 1, 2, 3 as his marks, 121, 23F, and all these addresses, as you can see, have their own marks, right? Definitely, let's say that, uh, you know, this is a dynamic array. That's why it is an uneven structure because uh, this is the dynamic array, right? So let's say this student has. Uh, is scored uh, in physics, chemistry, maths, and let's say, you know, any other subject like English or Hindi, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then we have one, two, three, or like this, okay? So this is how it will look inside our memory. And let's say I want to store this particular, you know, this particular value. So how we can access this particular value? Now, in order to access this particular value, what we have to do is we have to simply write marks, okay, which is actually the variable. Then we will have like which address you want to access, which is actually zero DEF, right? Zero DEF. And after accessing this means this particular thing will start pointing towards this. And let's say I want to access this. So this is zero index. This is worst index and this is second index, right? So I want to access this particular index. How we can do that? We have to simply write since this is an array, right? We are pointing towards an array. So we have to write one here. Okay. And by this, we can access this particular data. Okay, let me give you another example as well. Let's say I want to access this particular data. So again, first of all, you will have your variable name that is marks. Then inside this, you will have your address, which is zero cross seven three E, right? So this will start pointing towards this, right? This array. And now I want to access this particular data. So this is zero, this is one, this is two, and this is three, and this is four. So now if I have to access this, I have to simply write again another square bracket because this is an array, right? This is an array. So I will have three here. Now by this, I will be able to point towards this data. Now let us see this with the help of our salty programming language. So now inside this contract, I want to create my mapping. So I will do this, then the address, and then I will have my array, right? And then let's say I want to make this public. So I will make it public and then marks. Okay. Now I will create one function in, in order to insert some of the, you know, I want to insert some of the marks to this particular address. So insert marks and this function will take an argument of address type so that it can store the address inside the mapping and then we can access that particular array of that particular address right on inside this mapping as we have seen in the PPT as well. So we will have the address here. Okay, then let me make this public and like this. So now in order to store some value inside this array first of all i have to reach to that array and how i can do that i can simply do marks and then i will write the address now i am pointing towards a array right so let me go back to our slide so now i am pointing towards an array right any array it can be whatever address we will point means whatever address we will pass inside it like this so that particular array will get pointed out right and now what i will do is i will do dot push why dot push because this is a dynamic array, right? We are pointing towards a dynamic array. So let me have one more element. Let's say that is marks. And then I will simply insert the marks inside this array. And now let's say I want to return data from this mapping. So what I will do is return marks. And then I will do it 
public returns now i will do return now i want to ask from you you can pause me for a second now let's say if i'm passing marks and here i am passing address okay and let me have this address here okay now i want to ask from you what will be here what we have to write in this small bracket think think upon a second and let me know i hope you have thought upon it and let me tell you what we will have inside this returns statement we will have uint and then dynamic array and then memory why because this is returning an array right this is pointing towards a dynamic array that's why uint memory and let me have view here now let us deploy this now let me insert some value so inside this i will have this address let's say okay i will paste this address i will have 10 here then let's say 20 here and let's say 30 here okay let me have some other address let's say this address let me copy this down let me paste this here and now let me have one and then two okay now let us see this so i will copy this address and i will paste it inside our written marks function you can do this uh, like by calling this as well this marks you know this particular marks mapping where you can clearly see that it is asking for the address as well as the index you want to access and we will see that as well let me show you that as well but for now let me call this written marks so now as soon as i have called this written marks it has written the marks of this particular address right one and two in the same way if i will go back and i will copy this particular address and i will paste it here written marks so 10 20 and 30 right and you can do the same as well with this marks variable because this is a public variable right so i will provide the address okay so this is the address of this particular thing 05b3 and let's say i want to access this 20 so 20 is at first index right so i will write type 1 and i will call so you can clearly see that it is returning 20 so if i will do 2 which is index 2 so it will return 30 because 0 1 and 2 okay so this is how we use mapping with arrays in solidity if you have liked this video please click on that like button if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel because i am regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel so meet you soon in the next video till then take care bye bye and do not forget if you have any doubts please comment below okay